I can hear her sweet voice call on. It's the sweetest voice I've ever heard. It must be the voice of Jesus for the words are so plain and clear I'm going home to see my Jesus and to look upon the children and my loved ones keep on praying and pressing on I know dark clouds will gather around me <laughs> as I tread land, but the storms will soon be over, and with the angels I shall stand. Sometimes my heart, it gets so weary. But his holy name I'll always praise when I enter the gates of heaven I'll be saying an amazing grace. I hope that Jens will pray for me for just a few minutes of time. I'll shortly get out of your way. This is a sad occasion in which we met here tonight. But you know, I want you to know here this evening that the greatest thing that you could ever do in this world is to serve my Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. And I want you to know that at that land called heaven that that little song was talking about, you can get to go on over to that little promised land Amen. that my Lord prepared. And I want you to know that it's not as hard. Maybe as some people make it out to be. No, no. But I want you to know that at the hardest part, at least for me, was letting my pride down a little bit and humbling down. Amen. And I might be able to call out on the name of the Lord and call on His name and say, Lord, I can't do it all on my own. That's all that I know to preach here in this world is the love and mercy of Jesus Amen. Christ. For it is the greatest love that I've ever felt down in my heart. You know what? I want you to know that. And if the Lord will bless me for just a minute and just settle me you down know. for a minute of time, I'll try to preach. But if the Lord don't begin to move, I can't preach here in this world. For it's not something that I've learned to man. It's uh -huh. not something that you can be taught in any kind Amen. of school, but it is the demonstration of the Lord. I want you to know here tonight that my Lord, He loves each and every one here in this world, and all He wants to do is call out to this lost and dying world and tell them that He has a love that is so great that He even sent down His only begotten Son Amen. to die upon a tree. Yes, sir. You know what? I want you to to know at one time my Lord Jesus Christ he came unto a little well he sent his disciples out to begin to get some food and a little woman walked up to that well and she was a Samaritan woman it says yes, and he began to speak to her he said woman wilt thou 
just give me a little drink. And she looked upon my Lord, and she said, Lord, how can it be that you ask me for a drink? You being a Jew and me being a Samaritan. Amen. Lord, he looked upon that one and said, if thou know who you was talking to, you would ask me for a yeah. drink. But I'd give you a drink of everlasting life as well that yeah, you see well before water. you. If you get your drink, you will thirst again. But the drink that I shall give you, it shall go right down into your soul. And spring and up. On the everlasting life. Amen. I want you to know that, that I got the Lord in my heart. And my Lord, He promised that He would never leave us. Never, never forsake, forsake us. us. He would go all the way with us. <coughs> and you know, I want you to know here tonight that my Lord... When he makes a promise, he ain't gonna break it. You know what? Sometimes we can maybe get a little bit dependent on the man. But you know what? We need to look unto my Lord. My Lord is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in this life. You know what? One time that's there true. was a man by the name of Daniel. And Daniel, he was loved by the great king that was over him. And you know what? The rest of those princes and those men, they were jealous of Daniel there. And you know what it says? It says that those men were so jealous that they went unto the king and they said, Oh, king, thou art so great. Yeah. You should make a decree that no man shall be able to bow down on bended knees unto any god or any other king before yeah. them, lest it be you. And you know what they knew right there? And Daniel, he served my God, the God of Israel. And you know what they knew? That he would get down on bended knees, as he did, I believe. It's about three times a day. And yeah, you know he, what? Did. he heard this thing, and he went unto his little room, and opened that window up towards the east, right on unto Jerusalem there. And he began to pray, and those men and they knew right then that they had Daniel right where they wanted him. And they began to go right unto the king there. And they spoke unto the king, didn't you but make a decree that no man shall bend down Amen. upon their knees and praise any other king or God but you, O king. And you know what? He said, I did that thing. And they said unto him, well, your servant Daniel, he went right unto his little room. And he began to pray unto his God. And they said, And what you decreed is that any man that do so, they shall be cast down into a den of lions there. And you know what? And the king, he began to feel sorrowful within himself there. And he knew what he had done was wrong. And you know what? Amen. I just to know that, that the king, they, they took Daniel there and they cast him down into that den of lions. And you know what? I want you to know that it says that that king there, he couldn't sleep all night where <laughs> he paced to and fro within his, within his little bedroom. There. Amen. And you know, and you know what? He began to get afraid for when the break of day came. It says that he went unto the mouth of that little Listen to there, this, folks. And he cried out, Daniel, Daniel, as saw God as he delivered you yeah. from the mouth of the lions. And Daniel spoke up. He said, Oh, he lived forever. For my God is a Tell true God. Amen. He shut up the mouth of the lions. Yeah. But you know what? I want you to know here in this world to go on over to heaven with us and be over there in that land is for you to bow down on bended knees with a broken heart and a contrite spirit and call out on the name of my Lord for he is a merciful God and he shall deliver you yes, from the mouth of that lion. Amen. You know what I want you to know 
It'll be glory sure. and joy forever over in that morning. And brother Jason, you brothers, go ahead and get you into the song. But I just there want are to take this opportunity to now the in glory. in prayer. Dear Lord, as we bow our heads down before you this evening, God, I ask for your tender mercy upon our family tonight, God, yeah, that you just overshadow Lord, each and every God. one of us, dear Heavenly Father. God, we know this evening, God, that you know all things, you know what we stand in need of. God, we ask that these children here today, dear Heavenly Father, God, that you just touch them, you touch their heart. God, let us never forget the things that we were taught. Grandmommy taught us, dear Heavenly Father, we know today, God, how that we can't change anything here what's been said in motion. But God, we know this evening that if we'll just put our hand upon you, God, and take a hold of that big hand of yours and ask you, I, to lead and guide us and be all things tonight, Lord. I, God, we know this evening that hearts are heavy. I, dear Heavenly Father, but we know, God, how that you are the comforter tonight, God. I, we ask you this evening, dear Lord, I once again just overshadow us. I, with your tender mercy, dear Heavenly Father, I, God, these brothers come tonight. I, God, just anoint them from the top of their head. 
Father, to the bottom of their feet, dear Heavenly Father. I, God, I ask you one more time. I, that you touch my Aunt Brenda. I, God, my Uncle Lonzo. I, that has been sick and afflicted, dear Lord. God, I know this evening, as we come to this place, I'm not realizing this evening, God, how that we would ever be here for one another this Sunday. I, God, you've been able today how to do things, dear Heavenly Father, how down in our lives, God. I will bring a family back together, Lord. I let us join together. I God and look to you this evening. I your precious son Jesus. I the table today, God. I to reach down that tender hand of mercy. I take a heart that's broken. I mend it back together. I God we understand today. I let a family that prays together. I stays together, God. I I never want to forget their Heavenly Father, how the sweet words, how that I always heard my grandmother say, how God is going to pray, how for my children when I'm gone, how God I ask you today, how overshadow us tonight, how God write your precious words upon our heart, give us a wisdom and understanding according to your will. God, I ask you once again, these kids, my aunts and uncles, my dad, God, that you just put your loving arms around them, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, Give them peace and comfort that it can only come from heaven above. Lord, we humbly ask all this in Jesus' sweet name and amen. Amen.